My name is Melissa Watson and I am from Eastfield College. And why do you want to attend today's tour? Well, um, Ms. Gomez, um, she piqued my interest when she came to my education class and she spoke to us about their program, about how um, we are a fast track, or well, they're, they're fast track, and we're able to get into the schools very quickly and also be able to finish our semester or our year that we have in our um, program to finish our bachelor's. So I thought that it was a really good program, a really good opportunity for young students, um, especially who are trying to get in quickly. So it was it, gonna be a good experience, I hope. <laughs> yeah, and what what grade do you wanna teach? Um, I'm peaking from second to fifth grade. Oh. I'm Tina Munoz. I work with Texas Tech with the Tech Teach program. I build partnerships with all of your amazing community colleges and also with the colleges in Tarrant County. And our mission is very simple. We are looking for the highest quality teachers possible for our communities where the needs are the greatest. And we work with Dallas ISD. Everybody say, yay, Dallas. Yay. Yes. Thank you very much for hosting us today. We're very excited to be here. And we'll turn it over to our uh, hosts in just a moment so they can introduce themselves to you as well. Um, but we also work with Red Prairie ISD, DeSoto ISD, and Fort Worth ISD. And not only do we work with the districts in partnership and with the community colleges to prepare you to become very high quality educators, but we are also very dedicated to making sure that you get a job. That employment piece is very important. Students in our program are working very, very hard. It's a very intense one year that they are committing to basically working as if they're doing two days of work every day for a full year and maintaining that work ethic. Um, but the nice thing about that is at the end of that, they do have a job waiting for them at the school. You actually have to pass your teacher state certification exam by the first week of December once you start our program in July because you will actually be going through job fairs and interviews in that spring semester. And by the time you graduate at Texas Tech and you're crossing the stage and they're announcing your future plans, you've already gotten a position, you've already been decorating your classroom. It's a very seamless transition for you to finish your program and start teaching. So that's our hope for you today is to get an, uh, an insight into what it looks like for the students that are in the classrooms that are currently working in our program as teacher candidates or studying as teacher candidates. And these will be hopefully our future educators here in Dallas ISD. So thank you all for being here. I know the weather is crazy. It's a great day to look like a wet cat. <laughs> I had a beautiful curl thing going on and then rain happened. But lesson number one in education is always be flexible and always have a smile and just be ready to roll, right? I could have worn better clothes to roll, but thankfully <laughs> we're not doing that just yet. But thank you all so much for being here. Very, very happy to see you all. Thank you for making the effort to come with all the crazy weather. We really appreciate your time. We'll pass it on to Jeff Lowe. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm Faria, I'm the principal here at Jeff Lowe. Hi, I'm Dr. Daniels. Welcome, welcome. I'm your assistant principal. Uh, I'm Lisa Hunt, special education here at Jack Lowe. And currently recruiting students. Okay. <laughs> Debbie Young, I'm principal for the day, third year, same school. Welcome. Um, first of all, I just wanted to welcome you into Jeff Flow. We're very excited to have you all here. It's a great place to be, and we love our school. Of course, I'm a little biased because I am a principal. <laughs> but um, I wanted to really commend you on being part of the Texas Tech program. I really, really hope for you. those of you that are thinking about it, please, please, please do it. Go for it. We need the best teachers in the classroom. Our kids need it. We're depending on them to be our future leaders. But the Texas Tech program by far surpasses any other program that I've seen teachers go through. They are very correct. They guarantee, I mean, it's not, I'm sure it's not a 100 point guarantee, but I've never seen a Texas Tech person that didn't have a job. Our teachers fight over who's going to get the TC, the teacher candidate in their classroom. And then we're always recruiting. So anytime we get an opening, the first people I call are Ms. Marquez and Ms. Bautista and Mr. Morales. And I say, okay, who can you send me? I need somebody like yesterday. And they're always very quick to respond. Um, but the Texas Tech candidates are probably the most sought after uh, students and uh, beginning year teachers. Um, when I talk to other principals or anybody across the district, they always say, you know, was this a Texas Tech person? Yes, I'm, I've got it. It doesn't even matter. Like, as, like, yes, the interview matters, but it, 
if you've got Texas Tech attached to your name, we know that you're a good candidate. Guns up. So, <laughs> yeah, um, Texas Tech is an excellent program. Please, please, please. If you are think about, thinking about it, if you want to be a teacher, you shouldn't be going through any other program besides Texas Tech. Okay? And I'm just going to let you know what it's like. Okay? You have a year, you do intensive training, and then you have a job, a guaranteed job. You're going to be way more prepared than any other teacher that's a first year teacher. And uh, principals are going to be highly looking for you to come to their campuses. So it just doesn't make sense if you want to be a teacher to go through any other program. So for those of you that are already in the TC program, congratulations. I know you guys are going to have a really great future. And for those of you that want to come aboard, I urge you to go through Texas Tech. Okay? Thank you, Ms. Vargas. Hey, hey, And I also wanted to share one important fact. I think you're all aware of this, but by attending our field trip today, if you decide to join our cohort this summer and you go through the admissions process and you're recommended to join the program, we will be paying your $75 application fee as a thank you for coming on the field trip today. So that is something that we'll take care of for you if that is the choice that you make for this summer. Um, I do want to turn it over just very quickly to our district partners, both DISD and Richland College, and then we'll introduce our team, and then I'll turn it over to Ms. Marquez to give us some instructions on the groups we'll be moving into. So, Ms. Medina. Uh, a warm welcome to everyone. I came, I'm the teacher education coordinator for Richland College. I, I take pride in the work that we do at Richland, and I take pride in my students and their level of preparation. And this means so much to me that I wanted to take time out of my schedule to come and be with my students and tell them the importance in highlighting the programs that I know will work for them. Uh, we work uh, collaboratively, very close with our corner districts, Dallas ISD, with our local universities, Texas Tech being one of them. I um, visit their campuses. I, in fact, I have worked for Texas Tech before. Teaching teachers? Teaching uh -huh. teachers, uh -huh, many years ago. And um, I strongly believe in the program, and this is the reason why I'm here, because I want my students to go through that seamless process from uh, preparation to, to hiring uh, and to implementing everything that they've learned uh, so they have the high quality uh, uh, outcomes with their students. So I welcome you all here. Uh, my name is Professor Medina. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm with Richmond College. Thank, Thank you. you. And the lady behind the camera is <laughs> a very important person no matter what program you choose to go through if you are going to be student teaching in Dallas. Yes, so welcome to Dallas ISD. We are so glad you're here today. We have such a wonderful, vast district. We, over, we have over 230 plus schools in our district. And so because of that, we offer very unique programming, which you're gonna see today at Jack Lowe. We're a personalized learning school here. And so when you become a student teacher in Dallas ISD, you get a very personalized experience. So not only do you fit in with the school culture and you become part of the family. But we work at the district really hard to support and welcome you. So we offer a career workshop every semester where we look at your resume to make sure it's educationally focused and results driven. We do mock interviews with the Dallas ISD employees. I do school tours. So I, this was last week or two weeks ago. We went to three elementary schools and three secondary schools. And you were able to network with principals there, observe other classrooms, get to see what's going on just besides the, just besides your placement. We do a celebration at the end where we do certificates and refreshments. And then I work very hard to make sure that you all get jobs at the very end. That is the ultimate goal because we really want you, like Principal Barrios was saying, we want you. You are going to be a part of a really strong teacher prep program with Tech with Texas Tech and we believe that our students need that and so uh, we do early access to our job fairs and I have a database of your resumes and I send it off to principals so uh, we're, we're so excited that you're here we hope you choose Tech and we hope you choose Dallas ISD for your student teaching experience so, uh, if you have any questions about Dallas ISD Jack Lowe they all know everything I'm also available to, to answer any questions about that student teaching experience from a district perspective. So, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Like, I'm glad that everyone is here. Just like Dr. Munoz mentioned, we know it's a little bit crazy with the weather, but we're glad that you made the time to come and experience our field trip because we do want to 
make sure you see that because I know a lot of you are like, but what is it to be a tech teach student or what is it to student teach, right? Because it's different when we come and tell you in the class visits or when we meet for advising appointments. So you kind of get to see it in action today. And we're very thankful to Ms. Barrios for opening on her doors, you know, to come and let us in because, of course, we have nine um, students that are placed here at Jack Lowe, uh, both the regular, um, you know, uh, model and of course also with personalized learning. And then also Ms. Barrios has hired as well as many students from our program um, that are already currently teachers here, you know, some of them is their first year, some of them is their second or third year, on and on. Um, you know, so we'll hopefully kind of see them in the hallway and say hi to them. But the classrooms that we'll be visiting today, those are the main ones where our students are in, so you can kind of see them in action. So thank you again for being here. Uh, we're excited to show you what you know, our program is all about, and of course what Jack Lowe also is all about, because it's a really great school, it's, a, it's amazing. You know, again, in the ISD, um, you know, we do want you to come back and um, teach here. You know, and of course represent us as you become an educator and we become colleagues as well. Um, you know, of course we also have uh, Ms. Bautista. She's a Dallas site coordinator. Um, yes. Over here. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> so, you know, some of you probably uh, have met her before if you are in the process of interviewing. If, if you're not, you know, of course then you get to see her. But she's one of them. There's uh, more others. One of but, them. Yeah. <laughs> she's one of them. We have a few. You yes. know, our, our team is pretty big here in Dallas. But um, you know the other side coordinators couldn't be here because they're in the middle of observations as well. But they do say that they're excited and they hope to see you also join our program, you know, soon. And if you can't, you know, if you're not probably ready for 2019, but you know, there's always 2020. So Jack Lowe, as you heard, and gentlemen, we're very excited to have you all. I'm super happy to have you in our group. Um, if you take a look here, well, you might not have the schedule, but I'll just share with you. We're going to get to see a second grade classroom. And we're also going to have an opportunity to see a third grade classroom and a fourth grade classroom. So the first class on our schedule is Miss Brown, and that's in room 141. So I guess we can go this way. Ms. Rivera in 137. 
we're at 141, so I think we might have just passed it as we were walking this way. So we'll What was our second number? 19. Very good. Now, for our tens, how many tens in our first number? Two. Two. So, I am drawing two tens. Do you see that? What about for our ones? Seven. But, you know, just like when you asked me earlier, hey, can we talk to the students? When we're here, ultimately, the goal is to help them. So if we know that interjecting that one little thing is going to help them understand the process and then they're going to be able to be independent with it, that, that piece is helping them move forward. Thank you, Darian, your door. I'm sorry. Now what we're going to do is kind of guide the practice right now. So if you'd like to work with the student, I'm going to ask them, like, hey, how do you answer these questions? If they want to work with a student and answering those questions? Oh, uh, yeah, so if you could just read to them, but they have to do the rest. They have to do the work yeah. on their own. Yeah, you're welcome to read to them. If you'd like to read a question to one of the students. Boys and girls, we are really lucky. So we have some friends that, are, that would love to read to you. So if you have anything you need read aloud, you charge that. Good, I see that Ezra found it. Ezra found the clue. What are some of the things that you ladies and gentlemen observed here in uh, Mr. Mercado's room? What were they working on? Working on math. Yeah. Oh, look, he had that board when we were done with their work. Can you go get something from there? And okay. it was like relevant to my so it's still a, a task for the students to complete. If you've finished your work, you're not just going to sit there and be distracting other people, right? You have something else that you can jump right into. You guys notice the daddy? I become your coach. I become sometimes your mom. And sometimes your grandma. <laughs> <laughs> but that basically our role is. Um, we will be observing you in the classroom. We will take care of your placement. We will have that open communication with a mentor. Uh, we will be observing uh, you, like I mentioned, in the classroom, but also we will be evaluating you and making sure that you are ready for the classroom once you're ready. Okay? Who's the teacher candidate? Which one's the teacher? We can't really tell. Mm -hmm. So you guys did a really, really awesome job. How about we start with giving them a round of applause? and collected, but as Edward was sharing with a few of you here, and I'm going to ask him to share a little bit about that again, um, they're all in the middle of getting their observations done, their performance assessments. Edward just had his first one today, so let's say yay, Edward! But um, it, it's very stressful, and it is a lot of pressure to be under, but they all did an amazing job. I didn't get to see you, but they did it all. I'm sure you were just as awesome. They all did an amazing job in their placements, and really, really were showing a, a great job of what TCs do. Mecca shoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, yeah, y'all, the world of teaching, it, it's so, it's so beautiful. It's a great word. It's beautiful. It is a beautiful disaster at times, <laughs> uh, but it is it is what it is. And you know, we really need people like you that are educators that are wanting to make a difference. Um, if you want to truly make a difference, teaching is the way to go. Um, no, it's not easy. 
because you're dealing with real life human beings, mm -hmm. you know, and they're little and they'll tell you anything. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'll tell you every, and they'll tell you like, oh, your hair looks pretty today. Not like yesterday, you know, <laughs> and they'll tell you. They're brutally honest about those things. Um, but I really do encourage you to come into the, the profession. It's a great, great profession. I've never met anybody that wasn't in love with teaching after they tried it for a year. Mm -hmm. um, I've work with people who were determined to be lawyers and they were going to take a year to teach because they want to take a year and it's easier. And then they fell in love with it and realized that being a teacher is not the easiest job in the whole wide world. Um, yeah, summer's off and all that stuff, <laughs> it comes with a price, you know? Yeah, you work the entire, yeah, school starts August 21st, it ends May 31st, you know, there is no clocking out. I mean, you clock out, yes, but you're at home and when you're shopping, you think about your kids and oh, if I would have just done it this way, or this would look really cute on so-and-so, and then you're spending your own money trying to buy clothes for, you know, other people's children. Um, but it, it, it is, it's a wonderful, wonderful profession. Um, we would love to welcome back any um, TCs. I, I'm always like, tell them to put them here. Aww. We have first dips. That's awesome. Um, so the more the merrier. Do you want to send me some more? <laughs> Currently yeah. recruiting, yeah. And, um, and of course, you know, we like to hire from within. Right now, I do know that I'm gonna have a position open in pre-K for next year, okay. um, because one of our teachers is moving away. So, we're already looking, we're already eyeing. <laughs> yeah, we're already <laughs> eyeing who's going to, yeah, be a good candidate. So, um, anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for coming, and yeah, let's take a picture. Big round of applause for Ms. Barrett. Yeah, we're gonna have some sweet babies right here. I think this is the biggest spot. If we can have everybody come